I saw a bitch today with thick fat titties, and I said, "I saw." That, that's like the default. We just the default this is, to this that. Is the, if you start at the bottom of the bed, there's no place to go but up. That's the bottom for sleepy cats. All right, hold on, hold on. Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. Super, super special episode. I know people were probably waiting for another Another episode because uh, Rice Pirate mm. is is uh, in Philadelphia now. Yeah, Rice remember? Pirate is. He had his own cable access show about five years ago. He fucked a bunch of kids on it. He got fired, but now he's off the streets. That's right. He grab your kids. He's free. This is my grand That's comeback. Law for you. I, 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 I figured the internet was the place to come back to it's after a, a, a fall like that from grace. Some, Absolutely. You know, everyone falls, Nick, and sometimes you fall uh, dick first into a child, but you know what? Sometimes you get up afterwards. It Stop. Happens. Shut up, asshole. All right. So, <laughs> All right, so to welcome to Sleepy Cast with uh, not so special guest Mick, since he's gonna be around all the time. I'm Stamper TV, and I'm here with Psychic Pebbles and Johnny Utah. Hi there. So you guys, you know, this is my first podcast here. I, I've listened almost like a oh, yeah. crazy he does, he person. Does the, he does the intro, by the well, way. Well, not oh, only yes. that. Give, give us, give us some taste of that. Uh, uh, Hold up. There's an island in the ocean and where How do you do that, dude? Well, That's amazing. So just like him. Shut up. Hey, you, were you annoyed when uh, when we when you gave us all those outtakes and you you gave us like <laughs> for the for the end and I I picked the one where you messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. What, what was the actual intro supposed to sound like? What's the actual dialogue? I don't it's supposed to be. I just know that I took a lot of takes where I I t- put a lot of care in there and my assumption is always that you guys are gonna make me not sound like an asshole. But what? the truth is, is I was proud that you did make me sound like that because, because it, it lowers the bar for the whole podcast because yeah, you all sound like assholes. So off, well, that's, that's yeah. right. If we started off as good as I made it, it would just made the whole thing because he actually did our intro. <laughs> good, like, like a real good job. Like perp- and he he did an old man take, another take, and another take. Oh, that's right. And he actually did our entire intro really well. That ended like the whole intro, but then we used the one where he was like, "Is bunch guys, bunch, bunch of bu- bullshit." Bu- but I think I like forgot what the fuck I was reading. And it was perfect. And Stamper, yeah, there you go. This is—I don't think I've ever mentioned this on the podcast, but it's a fun fact. Stamper, you want to tell everyone what the intro is kind of based off of? Because the the I always this it's a fun uh, fact. Tales from the Dark Side. Tales from the Dark Side, of Twilight Zone. Ah, kind of yeah, yeah, that's Twi- right. Yeah, we wanted that the Tales from the Twilight Zone. Tales too. from the Twilight Zone. So, Tales from the Dark Side intro is still one of the scariest TV yeah. intros I think I've ever. It made. is pretty fucking crazy. I think I actually ended up watching an episode because you. The show is hit and miss. Hit or miss, but yeah. overall, it's a pretty good show. I'm turning down the the light on the fucking monitor because you guys stare at it like it's a fucking well, fire in your mouth. Sure I'm monitoring fun. the clipping, asshole. I understand the what you're fucking looking at, but clearly, even when I'm yelling at you and calling you a fucking asshole, it's still not clipping. So we're good. Well, you have to be right. like fucking asshole. Oh, look at that! You, you barely, both of you, just barely <laughs> touch the tip. Which is what she said. Oh! <laughs> You'll fit in good here, Mick. Are, are you done making everybody XD? That's right. right we're we're done XD. Let, right, let's get good. to the laws and the kecks. Let's, so let's tonight go. on Sleepy Cast, we're going to discuss the one thing that's true to our heart. Jeff, what is it? <laughs> milkshakes. I t- <laughs> milkshakes. Jeff, which food got a milkshake? Um, I like strawberries. Shit, man. I'm Chocolate. A, I'm Chocolate. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Jeff. I like. Have what? you wait? Have you had a milkshake? Yes, asshole. <laughs> okay. What well, what was a flavor I don't live that you? In Zimbabwe. What are you talking Dude, about? Dude, well then, if you had it, what was a flavor that you said like, oh, I like. I've I I had vanilla. Why did you say Zimbabwe? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, they, they, don't have I'm sure for... they do not have milkshakes in Zimbabwe. That's the last of the fucking problems, though. It's like the, the lack of milkshakes. I was trying to think of a hot tour country. Sucking water droplets out of mud puddles. Did you just want me to say Africa? Did you want me to just to say? The Congo. <laughs> you got brown. That covers it all. Mich- probably- naked black guy in machete Sack. land. I don't know what you're I mean, talking about. I mean, 
not white. I mean yellow. I mean. No, what is your favorite milkshake? I like vanilla milkshakes. Okay. 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 All That's right, okay. asshole. I was embarrassed because like you know it's such a bland. Because it's such flavor. a like Paul Rudd no. milkshake. Yeah. I like vanilla right. bean milkshakes with the little flecks of vanilla in it. The real there you go. Mm, okay, that's fancy. Actually, just, what about you, Zach? My policy on ch- I have a weird policy on chocolate like ice cream and stuff. Because whenever I see chocolate ice cream, like that looks so tasty, it tastes so fuck good. But you get it, it's too overwhelming. You feel sick if you have too much chocolate ice cream. It simply goes with chocolate milkshakes. You know what I mean? If you have too much chocolate, that's what I mean. But it looks so good, it's desirable. The Chick Fil A milkshakes are. You know what? Milkshake. Fuck Chick Fil A. I'm sick of people talking about Chick Fil A. I hate Chick Fil A. I can't stand it. There. I will oh say that God. of all the with milkshakes, their dried chicken sandwiches oh, with a little piece I, of pickle on it. I would normally, stop. I would normally go with strawberry, but. I did remember back in the day McDonald's made their St. Patty's Day mint shake. Oh, the that, shamrock shake. The shamrock shake. And that easily, I remember, was my favorite fucking milkshake. I always looked forward to it. Never got it. I always forgot about <laughs> oh, yes. it. You missed like it's the like, one day. Oh, I can't wait to get that shamrock shake. Yeah. And then you stop in. They're like, yeah, we that was last week. You know who's got good milkshakes? is uh, Sonic. And they got yes. a list of Yes, fucking... dude. They have really good fucking ice cream in general. Can we talk about how much I hate Sonic? What? But I remember you said you were no, it's not the food. It's just it's the atmosphere. It, the idea of it. You have the two idea. options: you eat in your car, or you sit in that. Who the hell wants to thing. eat? How? Who the hell wants to eat in their car? Yeah, you get fucking dude. You get French fries and you like, eat shit. The, I never actually ate there, but they put this. They put the the tray on the side of your window, right? Or how do they do it? How do they give you your well, food? They use so, some faggot roller skates up to your window and trips and gets food over. How do they give you your food? Do they, do they, they pass it into your car? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so you push the button. You, All right. you, you have to or open you your door. Or you do drive through. Here's every Sonic that you poke the Sonic. You have to open your fucking car door because you park too far away. You press the button. You take 10 minutes to respond. You order your food. So if you skates up, they give you your That's food. That's still awkward. Yeah, no, it still doesn't matter. I actually, I never I like thought it. about it because I've never been there. Yeah. But the, the idea that you're eating a meal by yourself in a fucking Even car, I, I parked think, somewhere, yeah, no. just, just kind of has they, like a really sad, like, feel to Well, you can see, they it. have like picnic tables outside, so you can eat outside, but it's like oh, weather true. permitting, so it's cold right. as fuck. Yeah. Because it's really just this little box that they all cook in all day, so you, you can't go inside. Right. You can't piss there if you need to or anything. I, I right. think it's worse. Worse than you mentioned eating alone in your car. I think what's worse is eating with people in your car. I hate this sound of like. Oh, oh then you get like well, eight bags of chi- food and you're like, who got the chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a chicken sandwich. And who yeah. got fries and who got tater tots? The burgers are I, messy too. I love the burgers, but they are fucking messy. It's like eating a taco when the yeah. bottom breaks. You have to bring that shit home and put it on a plate. Whenever I eat at Sonic, I always have to turn my radio on because there's no people in the car. I hate the sound of raw, like trapped, confined eating. <laughs> And well, you know, you fucking assholes always leave trash in my I, car. I, I, <laughs> I gotta clean out. You know, I, mean, I have a car. I know what it's like for people to leave fucking Wendy's bags in the back of your car. I know. You leave them in your car all the time. I don't. I don't. I have a you got You guys do that to me. Like, every, time I, every time I open my back seat, it's, it, the floor is covered in water bottles and gummy bears. That's because you're, you're the fucking, you're the fucking taxi service for some of these fucking assholes. I it's hate true. leaving. I'm, I don't leave trash in people's car ever because I hate what happens to me. That's a fact. You know, I it's honestly like don't know what's worse. I it's... honestly don't know what's worse is to either have someone puke in your fucking back seat or puke all over the side of your car, like when they roll down the window. They never actually puke off of your Obviously, car. They somehow to... manage to get all the puke all along the side of your car. You're driving along and it like crusts How on the side of your car. I, it is, I hang out them. with some interesting uh, folk back in the day. You guys are pretty good about that kind of stuff. I mean, Zach, you you know, you know, at least have the decency to go to the bathroom, but... You puke on the floor. Like yeah, or the floor and then lie in it for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah. I was trying not to bring up that story I because I respect you so I, much. I think, did I, tell, I think I told that story. I did tell that you story did. in the podcast, yeah. Oh, you did? So about no one knows what a freak I am. Dude, I was there in the bathroom with you, feeding you water, yeah, cradling you in my arms, breastfeeding you let me, let, let, fucking so bottled water to make sure talking, you survive. We're, we're talking about the time I got very drunk in Magnus. I think I told it on ep- two episodes ago on episode 40, I think. Ugh. Yeah, where you were Skyping me on the toilet. Yes, well, I think that was, <laughs> but yes, uh, Mick was nice enough to bring me... Bottles of water. God bless him. He didn't have to do that. I, and I remember the night before, though. That's where, like, I kind of wanted to kick your ass. Was that I had got we had gotten that bottle of Jack Daniels, yeah. and then uh-huh. you started Woodford drinking Reserve. That oh, was it Woodford? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Right. So we had the Woodford, which cost a lot of fucking money, by the way. And then you poured it into a fucking glass. You had a full fucking glass of Woodford. You were already drunk, and it was like three in the morning already. And then all of a sudden, we, I, I remember turning to you saying, "Dude, there's no way you're drinking that." There's 
no way. And you you're know, like, I think, no, I it's think, okay. I'll I think get a mixer. I'll get a mixer. So you called room service, and it was like five dollars for a fucking Coca Cola, uh. and you ordered two of them. And I remember before the fucking Coca Cola showed up, that glass was can I empty. Say, can I say? I think drunk me felt challenged by you. You can't drink all that. I was like, I'll fucking show that guy. I was. I was. You challenged me, and you showed him. I showed yeah, you. Yeah, you sure fucking, showed us. I showed you. Oh Yo, yeah, you did. And you know what you didn't show? Up to the panel. The oh! <laughs> oh shit! But to step back, yeah. I will leave trash in somebody's car. I their guess. car is already trashy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of like yeah. living in Philly, where you see trash on the ground already, and you're like, should I find a trash can or should I just throw the shit in the street? Yeah. So that's what starts. So one guy throws one wrapper in the bed, and so the second guy goes, "Oh fuck that!" There's no There's trash cans up. in Philly. <laughs> San Diego is a beautiful, clean, amazing place. Yeah. For example, San Diego. And then, but there's a trash can on every corner, so there's no excuse to litter. Yeah, we finished, we're, we're finishing a gallon of fucking Your vodka Gregor. bottle is so this big. this vodka out of the bottle, straight out of the bottle like a fucking cartoon character. I'm sorry. It doesn't it's a have- glass like a civilized human I'm being. I'm not a civilized human being. It's like, you'll see a trash can, right? And there'll be trash piled all over it. Nobody actually is throwing trash in it. They're just fucking throwing the trash on right top of the pile. There's no trash at it. Yeah, they, no. They, they, and they it's just the... like it's all fucking gathering I all around it. Do. Like, yeah, nobody fucking cares. They view the trash can as a suggestion rather than... Right. It's like, yeah, uh, that general direction's fine. I, I feel like I'm being a good citizen by throwing my trash in the general direction of a fucking trash can. Man, Mick, you're a savage animal. Shut up. You're just farting on people all the time. I do. You so... make sure they hear it, too. <laughs> I make sure they hear it and see it. I Stamper knows this already. I give people like a three or five second prep where I will actually get into a position where you absolutely know what's about to happen. There's no debate. So it's not like it's a surprise. I was making breakfast. He got in a horse stance and farted. <laughs> Ugh. For those of you who are familiar with <laughs> Japanese karate, we got in a horse stance and blasted ass <laughs> yeah, near the up. bacon, so some of the particles could have ended up on the bacon. Would you be traumatized, Jeff, if some guy, some like fucking scary buff to attack, like some skin had broken your house and had a big fucking gun and a knife, and he was like walked into your bedroom, and you woke up, and he's like, "Yo, piss ass, wake up." Did a horse piss dance. Ass. Yeah, piss ass. Then he did a horse stance and far on you and left and started giggling. Would that traumatize you? Exactly. What the, the fuck? Why? <laughs> I'm curious. I'm, I want to get your psychology. I want to see what happens. You're curious the, of all the things you're, you want to ask. Yeah. You're curious Spell, about wait, sp speaking of you wouldn't believe, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you a story right. of something that I did recently. This is the most fucking... I shouldn't even be telling this Yes, story. you should. No, no. for a yes, decade. Let's see, let's see how surprised I am Please, yes. I'm gonna get. I'm going to get crucified for this one. Hashtag Stamper does something. Alright, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Long story short, not to bore anybody, but um, I was drunk mu much like I am now. Mm -hmm. I was working well after I should have gone to bed. It's, been, it's like an hour, and I was pretty fucking toasted. I thought it'd be a good idea, um, also because I'm lazy, <clears throat> but I thought it'd be a good idea to um, not go to the bathroom, <clears throat> but stand up and piss into a water bottle that was sitting by my desk. With also, a, did, it have a, did have a little opening at the top. And I just pressed my dick hole up against the opening mm -hmm. and then sprayed pee into the bottle, mm -hmm. filled it up. And it was also kind of a scientific experiment. Yeah, I was going to say, you yeah. left that part out. You initially told me that the initial impetus for it was to test how big is the human bladder. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's your this is a big, this is a right. big fucking Deer Park bottle. All right, and when you fill a Deer Park bottle with your piss, you're just like, well, how, this was sitting in my body somehow. Like and you your, right? Yeah, your bladder's only so big, so it's kind of fascinating. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I went back to work for like an hour and I was so fucking wasted. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, you, no, you know exactly, is, you oh know exactly where this oh, is going. No. Oh, dude. Yeah, you and do. And I was like, man, if I don't get some water in my system, oh. I'm gonna wake up with the worst fucking hangover. <laughs> and I drank a clear bottle. It was clear, but it was. <laughs> It's a clear bottle, yeah. With yellow-ish fluid in no, it. No, but that's the thing. It wasn't... It was warm, dude. It wasn't like... It must have had a little tint to it. A little tint, right? But I drank half a bottle of my own piss, and I didn't even fucking you got realize like, You it. got like eight bathrooms in your house. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, this is the, the dedication. Did piss of your own piss? I drank a half bottle of my own piss, and I didn't even realize it. I went to bed, and I woke you, up, wait, and I was like, Wait, you didn't huh. just... Wait, wait, wait. So you didn't immediately know. You no, he didn't. didn't. I put. And then, you know what the it? thing is? I drank, as, you know, as much as I could, and then I went back for more. I <laughs> to get through half a bottle. 
I thought it was fucking water, and it, I, it, 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 I didn't even fucking realize. And how it's absolutely you're drinking true. uric acid, and you didn't even realize it's. No, are my taste buds that gone? No, yes. or is and it? the other thing he forgot to mention was that he said to me, "I went down to the office, and he was kind of like hesitant <clears throat> to tell me the story." I, I drank remember, a bottle of my own piss. No, man. I remember <laughs> seeing. <laughs> no, I saw it on his desk. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, I, I, he may have seen the confusion how in my far, eyes. How, how far gone are you? You fill up a whole bottle of piss and you forget you even did that. And you're just like, oh, just walk. <laughs> yeah, Dude, even, I was gone. I put my hand to be over fair, and fumbled around. Like, like, to be fair, there's like... And I was so like, happy that there was just water convenient. I can't trust any of you guys. There were three bottles of water. What are you do? Drink There were three piss? bottles of water <laughs> on his desk. Enjoy your drink, Jeff. You and in the back of my mind, I knew that it was like... I was like, okay, there's there's like three, four bottles of water here. I put a cigarette butt out in one, so I can't drink that one. Oh, so you yeah. already cut it close. No, that's right. And I was like so happy that there was a bottle of water here, and I didn't have to go to the fucking kitchen, and then I drank my own piss. He was like, look at this bottle. There's not an ash or a fucking know, you cigarette you like, you butt in it. And you would think your gut instinct is to wake up and just puke everywhere when you realize Everybody what you in your did. house is a fucking alcoholic, except for Joy. Uh... So, uh or is she? Or, is or, or actually, maybe you all are. Yeah, maybe. Why? Maybe How you am I are an too. alcoholic? Just drinking my own piss doesn't make me an alcoholic. <laughs> that kind of does make you a fucking well, alcoholic. I have a Come on, let's be honest. You fucking you were so drunk you doubt. peed into a bottle and then drank half of it. Oh, like you're all so fucking good. I'm so I fucking say, sorry. I never said I did. I haven't. Well, I haven't drank my own Look, pee. Look, I, I, I drink my own piss. You touch kids <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> Stamper, you know, you know when you eat cake and you wake up the next morning, before, before you go to bed, you wake up the next morning, you have that like fucking taste in your mouth? Was that in your mouth? Like Cake? It, he did yeah, say like, he had a you know, little... No, 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 like, like, you ever eat food and then like take a nap and you wake up and you yeah, have like, all right, a taste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stamper like, did mention... I did that. You had, you had, that, you had the that. fucking piss up the head, you're like... Piss. But I didn't know what it piss. was. I just thought it was because I, I didn't brush my teeth before I went to bed. You did. Turns out, you passed out. It was piss. It was piss. Who That's does? Right. I'm, cu- I'm just curious. Like, how sick can that make you? Drinking a bottle of your own piss. I he, mean, could, he cleared half the bottles of half. Piss oh, it was only half. You Let's can be drink honest. your own piss. <clears throat> now, would you judge me more if it was somebody else's piss? That's the question. Well, a little bit. No, little I am bit. curious. Maybe twenty percent more. Well, see, there you go. Because they always say that more. piss is sterile, right? They say pee is sterile. Well, no, I mean, piss is just the stuff your body doesn't want. Yeah, so I when they say it's, it's sterile, it's sterile. Yeah, no, but I've heard... It's like eating your own shit. Yeah, but shit ain't sterile. Do you piss and shit are the same thing? It's like getting re... When you drink and eat, your body sucks it up. I'm not disagreeing then, with yeah, you that they're both disgusting. The That's waste. It's yeah, it's waste. waste. Yeah. But I've never... I understand it's waste, but I've never heard the phrase that shit is sterile. I have heard the phrase <laughs> I'm sure you can, I'm sure that you think, piss is sterile. You can take a bite of a nugget and be safe. You might get a little bit nauseous. Yeah, but if you're, if you're in the desert... You, and might, you might buckle up your tooth from a piece of corn. <clears throat> you should, if uh, you're in the desert and you're dying, you could drink your piss to survive a little bit. You can't eat your shit to <laughs> survive <laughs> You should get that machine that yes, Kevin I Costner don't has at the beginning of Waterworld where he pisses That's in That's right. Dude, you, you don't even a need dump. it. All he has to do is piss in a bottle and drink it. In Waterworld, if Kevin Costner took a dump into like some big plastic container and came Here's... out as like a fucking vegan burger, it would just be like all the good bits Here's my that you question. Eat from that burger. So yeah. at the beginning of Waterworld, you yeah. see Kevin Costner piss into this machine. That's and... a fur scene. Yeah. Yeah, and then it like cycles it and then he could drink it, right? Right. He's in the fucking ocean. Why didn't he put ocean water in there? To <laughs> boil it that? or something? Uh, Why well, did he have to piss the, to get the, his the, water? The process of removing salt from water is a really difficult one. Oh, but so they removing did, they the fucking piss from I think, piss? I think, I think, is, water anyway. I think is purifying water. urine is easier than purifying salt water. All right. All I remember from Waterworld was that he made like eighty million yeah. dollars <laughs> from that movie, and the movie made zero dollars. I didn't hate the movie. I, the movie. I don't. I didn't. I didn't hate the movie. Like people. I didn't. Hate, yeah, I didn't hate the movie. I didn't hate it on, at all. I thought it was kind of fun. I mean, it, yes, yes. The the guys riding around on the jet skis with their fucking smoky goggles on look like Dude, assholes. But. It was Mad Max on water, as far as I was concerned. It was <clears> like <throat> that's kind of what it was. It was like this. Dystopian future. It was creepy. Like all the dead, they dump all the dead bodies into this vat where they just like decompose into like fuel, um, right? Like or, applesauce, basically. Oh, was it applesauce? <laughs> 
<laughs> you eat decomposed people applesauce. Did to, you uh, see uh, that movie Snowpiercer? Yeah. So that was kind of like that, right? They were throwing the rats in the Spoilers! machine. Spoilers! I haven't seen it. Oh, who fucking... It, you know what? Everyone Spoilers. was talking about how good it was. I thought Ooh. it was all right. I thought it was all right. I thought it was trash compared to everybody saying it was the best next thing. See, that's the thing. Like, since fucking... Like with Waterworld. It's very white bread. Like with Waterworld, like, it's not a bad movie, but compared to the uh, budget and everything, like, so that's what people compare it to. What, so. what do you think you of... Know it's like, if Waterworld just came on TV one night, you'd watch it and be like, oh, okay. Fucked up the and movie itself, The movie itself is the exact same. The contents are, are no different when you <clears throat> watch it differently. It's the same movie. So I always think it's kind of unfair to judge it. Everyone does it. I do it. It's kind of a, it's kind of unfair to judge it based on the reputation it has rather than the contents. Yeah. Like, imagine if you made a film and everybody was like, everyone's like, it fucking sucks. It's like it's not their fault. Like they made the movie they wanted to make. That just happened to me last night. Yeah. Uh, Mick was like, "Hey, have you ever seen the, this movie, <clears throat> The Gray, with Liam Neeson?" Mm. Oh and then, yeah, uh, the whole movie. Yeah, and then I was like, uh, "No, I never watched it because somebody told me it sucked." And then I watched it last night. and I was like, "You know what? That's not bad." So I was like, "You have to make up your own fucking mind." It's the best movie of all time. You watch it, like, fuck that movie. <clears> well, yeah, it's like so. Bottom line, you should never listen to fucking anybody, and you should yeah, make up your own walk fucking in, mind. Walk in and see every movie sucks. Look it's at the, like the trailer for the Gray and be like, it should, "Do I feel like watching <laughs> yeah. this movie?" I will say the most interesting thing about watching the Gray was uh, Stamper pointing out the fact that he thought. Uh, Liam Neeson's name came from half of the word William. It does come from half okay. the name William. Okay, all right, hold on. And the, it, halfway through the movie, you were like, I think people should call me Liam Stamper. A minute later, you're like, fuck that. That's dumb. Don't call me Liam. His name is William <clears throat> Neeson. So he Well, Liam is Irish, it. right? That's what I thought. I thought it was As just like, to, oh, that's an Irish name. Instead of going with Will, he went with Liam. He just... Took the last half. Somebody, of the somebody in the somebody in the comments is gonna have to fucking clarify that because okay. neither don't of have us. To clarify. That's the no, fact. none of us did the research. Did you do the research on that? Yeah. Okay, never mind. What, then. What, I'm I just did. spilling shit out of my ass. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, that back in your mouth, just like you piss. <laughs> ah! Just spills right out of your butt. Now no, I'm curious because watch, watch, they're gonna be like, no, oh, that was a dream that you had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, called? hold on. What was this Liam Neeson movie? It's called, like, Non-Stop or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all right. It seemed like it was a... <laughs> he's, like, one of those actors. Yeah. He's like a Bruce Willis. Like, the movie doesn't have to be amazing, he was but he's just so good. Character. He was playing the same guy he plays in every movie. Maybe since wife, she died. You know how she died? No. She died, like, four years ago. She died the most fucking boring, stupid way to die. She was skating, and she fucking, like, tapped her head, and she was like, I have a headache, and she died. She had a concussion. Yeah, that fucking killed her. Could you imagine dying? That's the most lame way to but die. That's not the most boring Would way. Would you stop insulting Liam Neeson on our yeah, podcast? Yeah, when you said Listen, boring Will way, he, she like read a bad book and it was just like, I, I don't mean, like this book, you and then fucking died. Split in half. I don't know. I don't know. There's way cool ways to die. There are. Like a cancer or something cool? Yeah, I don't know how cool cancer <laughs> is, but cool. Yeah, you look really cool, cool on a hospital bed with tubes hanging out of your fucking throat. You do. I always feel weird when I buy cigarettes for other people. Yeah, you, you know what? That? Stamper mentioned that before I, I, you showed I up. I don't really care that much, but every time I'm like, hey, no, Jeff a, doesn't smoke. Can I get a pack every now and again, I'll be like. <laughs> Marlboro lights and I like kind of look at the floor sadly. This is exactly the conversation we had before you showed up. And the Marlboro lights. The Mar and then they're like they don't have lights. They're called golds and you're like just say I'm just saying. Give me a something that's green. That's all you have to say. All right. <laughs> give me something green. What if they give them fucking weed? What's the difference between menthols? Like what is the what does it taste like a menthol cigarette over a regular cigarette? It's minty, my friend. Just minty. It's minty. Okay. Yeah, it would be like it's cold. like breathing in the cold air from a, a, a All right. the top of a mountain. All right, versus, that makes sense. It's totally chemical fiberglass, but it feels. You know what, faggot? You're smoking the same fucking garbage. I know what? I grew I'm, up. I grew up in a cloud of cigarette smoke, so I can breathe like. So right. That's I right. Tolerance. Yeah, I grew up in Asia, and everybody fucking smokes, so I the feel like it's fucking polluted too. It's my, disgusting. If if you go to China in the in like the tourist book, they tell you at the back if you develop a cough, like you've got issues with your lungs, it's not that you're sick. Welcome you're just breathing the air. That's literally in the tourist books. Welcome to China, bitch. If you have pain in the back of your eyes, what and is you're with dizzy? What is with Chinese? Uh, I keep reading about how Chinese uh, people going on vacations they. They're like shitting in the streets and they're just acting like am animals. <laughs> okay, you think I don't know if you were trying to be funny or not, but when no. I went, I <laughs> went. Real. No, when I went to Beijing, 
absolutely, I saw a mother holding her child over the sidewalk. So she's on the sidewalk. And it, yeah, it's William Neeson. Yeah, see? Jesus Christ. Okay, good job. You proved me wrong. <laughs> Anyways, in China... So yeah, yeah, get back to the shit. And we were at, no, we were at a bus stop. And I remember seeing a lady hold her child over the sidewalk. He's naked, butt ass. She's just holding him. And his poop coming out of his butt. Just right over the fucking sidewalk. But this is just something I read today. Thailand, I, Thailand was... Mand- like this is mandatory giving all Chinese people coming into the country pamphlets on how to not like shit. Shit. Like a yeah. Yeah. no it's because yeah, in some parts in of China they don't. still fucking poop in the streets and they hold their kids over a fucking gutter or the fucking you also have sidewalk. that weird social fucking <clears throat> etiquette that Americans don't have where if somebody's like dying in the street or pissing in the street or shitting in the street, you just walk by and you're yeah. doing versus us where we're like, why are you shitting in the street, man? <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't shit in the street. <laughs> no, you just turn a blind eye to everything. It, they're not turning a blind eye. They're all going, oh yeah, I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to hold me over the fucking sidewalk when I'd take a dump. Jet scenario, you're walking on the street, it's a yeah. foggy evening. Yeah. You see a crippled guy roll up to you and he's like, Please give me one dollar. Please give me one dollar. That crippled guy. Please give me one dollar. Yes. Do you have one dollar? Do we? Do give him the dollar? Do we ever release the the story I was telling about the crippled guy new in college, Lieutenant Dan? Wait, Lieutenant shit. Yeah. No, no, we're still. But we're gonna release that one though. All right, I'll just leave that then. Jeff. Yeah. You meet a beautiful woman. She's got the big tits. She's got the big vagina. Uh, All the good packages. Yeah. You take her back to your place. Yeah. You show her a collection of Dragon Ball Z action figures. <laughs> she knows what's up. She knows what's coming. <laughs> you get that hoe in bed. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you get yeah, those titties right, out. Yeah. She, she shows her fucking flapjack titties. You're like, all right. Uh-huh. But then she's like, Jeff. Let me eat your butthole. Yeah. She says that to she Jeff. She says that to Jeff. Jeff, what what do you do? I don't want anybody's face in my butthole. She's like, Jeff, she no. pulls she pulls up her no. she pulls up her hair. It's me and your dad, you pass the test. <laughs> I raised a good boy. That's real life, Jeff. My dad, my dad would hit me. It's gonna me. happen to you, Jeff. My dad would hit me if, if I <laughs> made a joke about that. <laughs> so your dad would do that and then hit you? <laughs> I just was a faggot. That would be the best Thanksgiving story when y'all fucking, all your fucking relatives haven't you're seen da- each other for years. But you're like, hey, dad, remember that time you showed up in the wig? And y'all were in the fucking My so dad has no stories like that. My your dad, dad only plans about this? outrunning police. He plans all this. Story He's that. a badass. Your dad plans Apparently. this for years. For like 10 years. Like for like 20 years with your baby. <laughs> and then he eats your butthole out and then beats your ass because you're a faggot. Because you raised your own. Because you raised your own. I didn't raise no faggot. I don't understand. I understand the whole eating butt thing. I don't all. either. It's strictly a, a, a doo doo. Okay, what hold on. Let me know. let me ask. Have what you thing? ever? Have you ever? I mean, at the height, you know, like sometimes when you're getting really horny, and all of a sudden you're thinking outside of your normal no. box. No, we talked about this before. I have a straight way spot. My, my my capacity. So I. I Parts of my brain, I don't, I don't, I don't need therapy when I get super horny. I'm like, oh, I'd love to lick, so, she looks shit off her dick. I don't think okay. he's in the Chris I think O'Neil I would love to. zone. I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah, in the Chris O'Neill zone. zone. This is a very Let's human thing. That. When you get to the craziest peak of Nick, your, your come on, what's yours? horny psychosis, I just want to know. Nick, huh. No, I, this so is a question. Don't... You can't deflect it before I fucking ask it. What is... You're, if you is cradling that bottle of vodka like shut, a baby. shut up I'm, he's, he's beside fuck you tip. okay if you had to eat someone's ass no the answer is no I don't want the butthole you have to eat it that's the, the there is no have to I do it because I want to okay so Stamper's already in the want to category you're in the no whatever but it doesn't matter the no there is no no if you can fathom what someone's asshole tastes like what would you add to that you can add any condiment you can add any fruit or vegetable. Chocolate. You- and I'll tell you why, because I wouldn't know the difference. I'd feel better psychologically. Is this shit or chocolate? I don't know. It's, you know what I mean? Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate milkshake. Okay. Yes. Sonic we- has the best milkshake. Yes. Oh, Sonic, speaking of which, listen, I put chocolate in there, so I'd be like, maybe you could taste 
You, maybe you get a cord that appears something every once in a while with a doo doo. <laughs> but it'd be chocolate covered. Yeah, so it'd be all know. right. I would think it's a piece of our chocolate you or fucking something. Fucking sexual deviants again. Jeff, what about every you? Fucking episode. Jeff, what would you put? This. Jeff, what would you put in someone's Drano. ass if you had to eat it? If you had to eat it, you'd put Drano. Anything <laughs> to cover up the smell and taste of fecal matter. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but what about why? Reason, why reason. Drano rather than chocolate? Why do you assume that a girl's ass has shit and stinks? Because when... guess what the ass does? A... <laughs> guess what a shower does? A... I don't care no. what you people think. It's like there's gonna be re- there's gonna be residual residue no matter what. Sex is dirty and disgusting and yeah mm. for a reason. That's what makes Time it so for biology good. Lesson. The ass, I'm sorry, I'm OCD. The, hold on, like, hold on. okay, that's why, like, when Mick farts, I want to stab him in his eyeball. That's fine. So How's listen, that OCD? what if you had a bag of wet <laughs> wipes? Well, well, let's say you meet a girl, and she's like, you know what, the hottest thing, I'm gonna blow you until your fucking brain explodes. But before you do that, you gotta fucking lick my asshole. No, I'm gonna give you a bag get of wet here. wipes. Get out of here. And I'd I'm kick gonna her out. I'd kick get her out. out of here. Really? Yeah. Get out of here. You, you wouldn't even slide? give that ass a chance. No. no. I'd say, listen, lady, wow. put your butthole in my mouth. And stay for Yeah, like he's this. like, I don't fuck toilet this. paper. My name's Stamper. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> I don't think I go crazy like you and Chris. Like, I don't, my, my whole brain, my wiring doesn't change. Yeah, you guys' wiring much. changes. I'm like, well, a, a lady God created. I'd love, love to have missionary sex with her and a condom. That <laughs> you need to get with the right females because they appreciate that and they no. want that, my friend. Yeah, what I if a girl begged you to lick her butthole? What no. if a girl begged you to do no. that? No! You would say no! Get your, I'd say get your butthole out of here! You're trying to play this righteous card <laughs> like the guys no, that do that are even, evil it's people. Not, no, it's not you don't that, even think that maybe it's females not even that, enjoy it's not that. Even a superiority no. thing. I just don't like the butthole. Here's a, here's a biology Human lesson. Here's a biology lesson. Poorly, does the yeah, butthole... I am sick butthole. of your biology hold on, lessons! Hold on! Does the butthole A uh, shoot doo-doo or B daisies? Pick one. That's what I thought. Okay, I want to eat with Jeff. This is going to open your mouth? Hold on. Jeff, what do you say? I think human beings are designed poorly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you have to put your genitals right next to like this the the, the, the garbage. I read. Body. You know what? I read a thing. They were talking about God and That's smart fair. design. That's fair. And That's they were true. like, "Why would you ever fucking come out of the same hole that you fucking piss out of?" And I, I remember that. that. I actually thought that if this was like the human beings were designed from God, he he did everything fairly well. But then when it came to like our pussies and dicks, he just like threw something on. It's like okay, so the the it's USB terrible. plug goes into the slot. And, <laughs> Human I, beings are terrible. We're secreting shit all all over the place all the time, like oil, earwax, knots, saliva, shit, We also need to fucking eat shit, every day. Piss. We have to eat, drink all day, every yeah. day. We'll fucking die. Yeah, I think when God is making people, he like you know, he take a glove and he push the finger inside the glove. <clears throat> I think he just did that. Like those. Oh, I'm gloves. sorry, you privileged white cis asshole faggot <laughs> male. Do you not have enough food around here? What'd you have for dinner, Zach? Enlighten me. It was pretty good as a turkey club. There's your actually sandwich, half of it over there. Your sandwich consisted of tomato and lettuce and mayonnaise, bread and turkey. You could have been eating some dude's ass and you're all day long. Some dude's ass in Africa for nutrition. <laughs> I really want to get up the ass, the eating ass thing. All right, we're off the eating ass thing. Next, drunk. I was just starting. Yeah, to get and this is my first and podcast. <gasps> I'm, trying, I'm trying to, I'm, yeah. tr- I'm trying to warm lube myself into this fucking tight ass yeah, glove. You're embarrassed. You're you know what? Am I? Am I really? <laughs> We've been embarrassing this is ourselves. Your first appearance. Since the first you're wasted. Podcast. Listen, I've listened to 18 hours of you guys talking. I don't think there's Why any is that embarrassment. Why vodka like eight liters? How how big is that? Because it was... and remember, you have to drive, asshole. I got. It. Oh, that's right. And you have to edit this podcast. I'm gonna do it right after we're done. <laughs> I hope up. so. Ooh. All right. All right. I'll leave New it topic. over here. New I'll topic. leave it with you. And if there's any girls that want their want buttholes eaten topic. out, you know where to find me. PO box. Fill your butthole here. We'll link it for you. Send, send it back. Send your butthole here, and we'll <laughs> we'll look at the envelope and your butthole and send it back. It's all good. <laughs> and just put it in the and mail. <laughs> Cowards. Yeah, what's up? You feel a stomach ache one day. Yeah. You, oh, <laughs> what? What? You, you go to the doctor, right? Yeah. They're like, Jeff, you, you, I have bad news. They show you an x-ray. Uh, Your scenarios <laughs> are getting tired, Zach. They There's are, a right? baby inside of you, Jeff. <laughs> do you get burned out of any gas? <coughs> or do you have a board of Jeff? This is you, like that Arnold Schwarzenegger. Say, yeah, yeah, junior. They say, Jeff, it's going to have a lot of problems in life because yeah. it's a man, baby. What are you going to do? It's not going to do so well. It's going to be bound to a bed its entire life. Wait, you just, wait, did you just say I have to... Sh- have to 
have to like shit it out of my you ass. You birthed it out of your ass where you can abort it through your dick hole. They put one needle through your dick hole. They can't do a C section. This Jeff, is the you, only you, two options. Race, Jeff, they already gave it an A for you. They say, <laughs> Je- Jeffy Jr., do you let it live? Would you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> just shut the fuck up. Next topic. Jeff, a what? dragon comes down and. <laughs> Hey, hey Jeff! I drank my own piss! Fuck you, Stanford! And then she asks you to fuck her, and then an egg comes out. If you had to eat shit out of your dick, would uh, piss out of your butt? I drink monster! Uh. (laughs) Alright, alright, I I do have some. I have a genuine question. So, racial uh, Mm. stereotypes exist. Right. Yeah. Now they exist for a reason. It's Chinese stereotypes. Go. go. Uh, big teeth, uh, small brains, uh, fucking small dicks. <laughs> uh, the yellow yeah. hat. Those Bull. little uh, symbol hats. Little bull haircuts. Yeah. Little okay. bull haircuts. The, r- eating rice. And then or... you view the world in widescreen because your they're eyes are slanted. Little, they're running around in rickshaws all day. They go rickshaws. Like rickshaws. <laughs> so I always had this concern that if I was in line, right? If I was in line to go get like a fucking pizza or a movie ticket, and there was somebody of a different race, whether they were Indian or Chinese or whatever even though I'm Chinese no one thinks I am or they are black or whatever and they cut in front of me and I was like what the fuck asshole and then like all these people would turn around and be like what the fuck you call that guy I, I just had this fear that I can't even fucking say that to somebody because I'm gonna get fucking pinned as being a racist even though the truth is it had nothing to do with race it just had to do with someone being an asshole Welcome you, to need to, Nick. you need to look more Chinese because if you were super Chinese you could just get away with saying that's right. whatever you want that's it, right just pull up pull up your Chinese see accents. you can't be quote unquote <laughs> racist if you're white if you read Tumblr more you, you'd be more conscientious of the yeah what would I be conscientious of your fucking privilege you fucking privilege yeah you're, you're, you're your Chinese white purple. You called Obama a gorilla? I and did, they, you did! We look the same. Nobody's gonna be able to tell the difference. We're both handsome, well hung, bald. You're Chinese. I am curious about like how people pin down like your race. I, I don't know, like what what what, Give, what is your race like when you look at Jeff, what is he? Like what do you, you say? Like he's Italian, Greek? Sexy. Like, what the fuck? Wait, I mean, oh, welcome to America. You know, I say Jeff, like Jeff, German, German, Irish. German. German Irish? Is that it? When Honestly. I see Jeff, I see an American uh, mutt. Just like me and just like Zach. And just like Jeff's everybody fucking I mean, yeah, Zach looks like, like a fucking uh, Jewish Nazi, but most of yeah, us look like... Jewish Nazi? Yeah. It's an oxymoron. Zach like to talk about the gift I gave him? Yes, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> tell, Jeff gave me a gift that he did once. And I have a picture on my computer somewhere of Jeff holding a fucking Hitler youth knife very <laughs> creepily in his dark apartment over Listen, his keyboard. It's the funniest picture ever. Here's the story. This is a brief story. I have... My, my grandfather was in World War II, and he had a Hitler youth knife that he got from the war, and he used it to open letters. He used it as a letter opener. Which I believe has... It looks like rust, but it could be dried blood. I don't know. And who knows? It, yeah, there's some kind of dried substance inside the blade and of the knife. He gave me a number of things from the war. He Dude. gave me like a samurai sword and like those seppuku knives or whatever, and like a wooden chest and all this other shit. But he gave me this fucking dagger. How did he give it to you? I want to know. Was it like happy birthday? Here's a fucking actually, actually, no, Harikari he, he, knife from the Japanese dude I murdered. After he passed away, my his my aunt gave it to me because we're like, well, he opened letters of this, and we don't. They're like they're uncom- they're uncomfortable having this fucking Nazi dagger. In their so house. they just give it to the kid. Jeff, you could Here you go. Happy birthday. This Take this shit. Yeah, yeah. We feel guilty having yeah. it on us. So do you yeah, they, they know I'm a terrible person. So That's like, right. Well, we'll give it to you. And then I I actually because it was sitting on my desk in my place, and I'm I was getting uncomfortable with it. I'm just like. I don't need people coming into my place and seeing this, like, little knife with a fucking swastika on the handle. So, I'm like, well, Zach hates the Jews. That's right, Jews that's right. So, I'm kind of stabbing tools. What? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Stabbing Stop. tools. Stop it. <laughs> you no, but I, I, I wouldn't have taken it unless I already had some other history stuff. I would Zach, I, would I knew. Other. You could stab Jews with anything. You don't need a Nazi I used to fork one time when I got... Like, I, I, <laughs> That's hate, why we can't go to Outback anymore. He had it coming. He has a little hat on. His hateful <laughs> stabbing weapon face. would go to a You nice call home. this a sirloin? So, I took his eyes so out, So wait, man. who did you give it to? Zach. Oh, so I, Zach I, now has... I, I wouldn't have taken it unless I already had other history stuff. Because then I would have felt burdened with it. You know what I mean? So I mean, you're saying that if anybody actually researched you and came and checked out your shit, 
they find like East German hats and like blood covered dude, knives. Dude, dude, if you died, I, they would look through your shit and see like all this Nazi, Nazi gold, physical and, Nazi and, stuff, I hear, I hear and videos gold. of you jerking off into your webcam. Hold on, you would be the biggest fucking psycho. I hear, I hear. <laughs> also, we need to touch on that one. Have you touched on that in a podcast yet? What? Have you had that argument yet what? about what? fucking filming yourself jerking off? Yeah, we don't talk about that. But can I say, can I clarify? That's fucked up. I have way more so Yeah. Let's we fuck need up. to talk I about that again. All right, we're, we're, on on the we're on the same page let for that. Me, right, let, me, let me say myself here. I have way more Soviet Union stuff than I do Nazi stuff. <laughs> I like. I'm, I love how right. that was like somehow trying to diffuse the no, weirdness it, of it. It's like I'm collecting Nazi stuff. I only have, I have a Nazi dagger that Jeff gave me. I only ever bought one Nazi thing. That was Nazi gold. I have. <laughs> I have way more. Zach. I have. I have John F. Kennedy pin. Richard Nixon He's so pin. proud of his Nazi gold. I'm not. Not I'm not for you're part of that. Got a little you, pile you of Nazi gold. That is weird. You know what? You haven't been at the office for a while. <laughs> you know what's at the office? I saw a pile. It looks like a, a bowl of fucking rotting, molding salsa next to a bowl of fucking cereal or something you didn't have. Yeah, Maybe you cleaned that up, but then there was also a pile of fucking blood-covered gold on your seat. And, I don't no know, and then there was, there was jizz all over it, too. Blood. I don't know, like, what the porn you watched. The the and there was a dead Jew in the sound booth. <laughs> yeah. He had it coming, too. He was stooping around. Dude, you, sc- you, you scream. You don't make people scream to get sounds. <laughs> <laughs> that's his secret for the screams that everyone loves the the Zach oh, it's never Zach that's right it's never me it's just you stabbing fucking Jews scream boss scream <laughs> now can we touch on the topics that matter yeah jerking off to a video of yourself jerking off and you're done yeah alright so okay <laughs> just to clarify You've covered this in a podcast before. Have you? Yeah, yeah, so. I thought I'm so blown away by it. I think we should just go over it again. But you co- you covered this in a podcast? <laughs> yes. Which podcast? I don't know, but you weren't in it. Okay, <clears throat> but people can go back to this I don't know why I wasn't in it. Podcast. Yeah, I don't remember that episode. I remember you and I talking was about it, the it on numerous episode? occasions. I mean, you talk about it all the time. Actually, but actually, I to think it was, um, regardless, we should get your perspective because I need... I need... I think no, it no, was, you know was, was the hospital one. I was surrounded... It was by awesome you, one. Chris, and Niall. It was okay. Awesome. All by myself. Okay, so regardless, you say that when you were when young, younger, when you were younger, yeah. you filmed yourself jerking off on a webcam. And Chris did. Video and camera, Niall, video I think they all did. Well, video. Okay, wow. so a video camera is even worse. All right, it, it takes more effort to transfer the video <laughs> they got somewhere. Turned to on by off. their little pubescent dicks. No, but you, you don't record it. You don't and then you masturbate to yourself. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Masturbate. <laughs> you, you don't. You don't, you don't <laughs> You don't record it with the intention of mastering doing it. You record some mastering, you get- What was the intention of recording? Yeah, what was the intention? You're like, oh my god, that's me? Oh fuck, how could it fucking come? When you watch it, you think that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, but you did it. The show with my dad, dude. No. No, wait, 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 Stamp, you never see yourself in the mirror with the boulder, you got turned all you want. And? Did oh! You, did you? Did you? You know what I get turned on by? Like, girls? What is this, like a butts? forever looping thing where you're like, you're it's getting a turned on, loop. and then it's, it's making your arm harder, and then you're getting more turned on? It's a feedback loop. Of I don't even really understand what you're talking about. <laughs> Jeff, I know you do it. You sit in the mirror and you're like, five for dick back or back. You slap I've never around. done this. So, I've never stood in the mirror like this. So if in, in the initial video you're jerking off and you come too fast, do you get mad at yourself later yeah. that you came faster yeah, in the video? Oh, you can't last long. You little pussy. I can't last you. So it's like a little marathon. It's a, con- yeah, it's a competition. You you're say. wrong and nobody does that. Everybody, <laughs> everybody leave the comments. If you're 12 years old, please record yourself masturbating, masturbate to it, and record, send that into us. And put Stamper's name no, on it. No, do not. <laughs> Can we ever? Not, not to change, not, I'm going to keep no. saying the same subject. We, no. Yes. Just to go back to the podcast we recorded last week that hasn't aired yet. I'd like to give these two their perspective on what is what is gay and what isn't gay. Okay. Zach. I bet I'm real stupid. You're going to feel stupid, William Stamper. No. No. Yep. Wait. So yep. wait. Oh, wait. Stop. 
So you guys recorded this one. Yes. Yeah. You haven't released it yet. No. Okay, so this is like a, the trailer. This is like the, the, the teaser. Don't give too much away. Yes. There, okay, there no. A, there was a premise. I don't want to rehash the debate, though, because... You don't have to rehash shit. Shut up. Zach is going to lose this argument, and you'll, you'll see why. Everyone lost every argument so far, so we guess. Let's keep going. I think Incorrect. Zach and I were keep roughly going. on the same page. Yeah, we were. Wait, which... Wait, stop. We which page? The, the, the premise was, was sucking your own dick gay. Yeah. No, it's not gay. I don't think dick. it's gay Why? either. Why? Because if you're willing to touch your own dick... Everyone says that, but we, here's my argument. Hear me out. When you're watching <laughs> porn, you can phase the hand out. You're looking at fucking tits, a girl, whatever, you're looking at sex. How can you phase out a dick, a fucking hard dick in your mouth? <laughs> if, you can, if you can maintain an erection with a dick in your mouth, you're gay. I don't think and so. And by the way, and how can you watch porn with a dick in your mouth? Zach, you have to fuck you know yourself what? with Zach, your dick sweaty, tiny balls in your face. You're gay. You know what? You're, you're gay. Zach, Zach, you're Zach. talking. You're talking out of inexperience because the truth is. Also, you, you suck your dick. No, have you? I used to be able to when I was younger. Oh, limber. Have you, Zach? Gay isn't a switch that you could turn off and on. Look, if I'm spending private no, no, time okay, in my no, no, fucking no, no, room, no, no, no. I'm not this fucking was, gay. This was, this I'm blowing myself this, jerking off. On. This was my point. You could be gay, straight, or bisexual. You could be a lot of different things. But an act is gay or straight. An act is, not the person. Right? No, if so, I'm, no, 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 I don't think so. Here we are. Here we are. So be gay is one sex doing something for the same sex. That is a gay act. You could be bisexual and do a gay act. You can maybe even be straight to do a gay act. I'm not saying you're gay if you suck your dick, but it's a gay act. No, you know what? You're splitting it. Un- you're splitting it into homosexual and heterosexual. I think there's something called solo sexual. No. No, 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 I, no, no, no. yo, listen. No, no, no. Whatever you you're touch doing yourself, the privacy of your own room is disgusting fine. and nasty, fine. and everyone fucking fine. does it. I'm not saying I'm not saying if you're gay, you better say the act itself is gay. It is literally by definition gay. I'm a man, and when I touch my wiener to jerk off, that's that would gay. be gay. That would technically be gay. I was you thinking. Face it out. When you're watching. Oh, what are you, you watch- watch- oh, 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 oh. You're gonna say, hold on, hold on. You're gonna say that you can just phase out homosexual acts. No, no, the hand. Hold on. Are you oh. telling me? Are you telling me you get off to grab me a dick? Dude, you're my watching My own! A, just my own! You're watching a porno with a wiener going in and out. You're whoa, 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 staring at this dude's whoa, 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 dick. Is that Nick. gay? Nick. Uh-oh. What? You're telling me, you just said... Uh-oh. You, th- you, you, you consciously <laughs> imagine your dick in your hand. Like, you focus on grabbing your dick when you masturbate. I don't focus on it, but it's there and it's doing it and I'm doing it. It's a sexual energy, yeah. You can maintain an erection while, while focusing on grabbing a dick. That's right. I can focus my energy while grabbing my own dick. That's what's you're called fucking on. jacking off, you're Zach. You're being turned on by grabbing a hard dick. No, my dick, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> you're, you're defeating your own argument. Yeah, then, that's right. You're saying. Oh, Zach, mentality. we can see you it's backing into a corner right I now. Out. Like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Gay. It was the phantom hand. You're maintaining an erection. Hey, when you're wiping yes. your ass, do yes. you think that's gay, too, because a dude is touching your asshole? No, it's completely different. Look, this was a mistake bringing this up. No. Oh, it's not a mistake. When you okay, get second, older... Second question, second question. Blowing yourself is not question. gay. If you can. It is. If you second can. question. Oh, wait. Jeff, second. did you say it wasn't? No, I, no, no, no. I, look, this is, last week, I made the point. I said, it's a matter of perspective. Yeah. If you're... This is your fault. This whole this, thing came no, out. No, I want to hear this. Shut up. This is Corey's fault. This is Corey's fault. Yeah, this is Corey's fault. Yeah, fault. fault. Yes. I want to know. He's not here, so we can blame him all day long. I know. If you're sucking... If you're sucking your own dick, if you're... Doing it purely for like the pleasure, like purely for the yep. sensation on your dick, that's maybe not gay. Yes. But that's the same thing as saying like, no, no, But if you're like, on. you just like the idea of a dick in your mouth, that is gay. Yeah, right. So that's oh, the difference. Oh, so that's gay, but it's your own dick. You just appeared your own argument. No, I you didn't. Did. No. But it's your own dick. No, you're Zach. seriously it's your own dick. You're seriously your own dick. <laughs> Hold on. This, this, this is going to tear us apart. If you're sucking your own dick and, you, and you're getting hold of the fact that there's a dick in your mouth, does that make you gay? It's your own dick. Is that what you're talking about? Also, did this all crop up because you have these fucking conflicting no, things I in don't. your head? I, I go to sleep fine. I don't think about sucking my dick. <laughs> Dude, this went on for like 45, over an hour. And by the way, so <laughs> let me ask you this. Dude, you're misguided. You're no, no, totally no, wrong no, on this. No, put me wrong then. Say something. 
I have said, said it. You keep times. ignoring it. No, no, no. Leah's Dude, said. you've got like deep seated issues right now. You, are I you like questioning totally, whether you're fucking? You know what? Totally fuck fine. this. Fine. Fuck Why all of this. Consistent? Zach, if you could suck your own dick, Why? you wouldn't be talking right now because you'd have your dick in no. your mouth. Let me tell you right something. now. No, let me tell you something. Consistent, consistent. You guys are like, well, it's only gay if you can hold the dick in your mouth. But 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 your dick. But I mean, it's not gay if no. You guys are inconsistent. I am consistent. I go to sleep like a baby. <laughs> And by the way, when I sleep, there's not a dick in my mouth. That's, That's right. Think. So if I go into my bedroom and I put a, a butt plug up my ass and put high heels, butt plugs going on you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now. Mm. Yeah. Well. Uh, mm. yeah, hold on. I, I, would say, I would say. I would say. Really. I would say. If you fantasize, really. you put a dick up your ass. That makes you gay. Yes. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying now. So your whole business. argument is fucking bullshit. What's, why is that? Because you're saying blowing yourself is fucking gay, but now there's like no, variables no, 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 thrown no. into no, it. No, 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 I said it's all the mentality. That's the way we argue consistently. I said when you That's somebody, never been your fucking consistent yeah, argument. You can listen to it. Listen to the tape. Rewind that, Mick. I'm not. That's stupid now. So then you <laughs> you asked the question. So Touching your little know, dick is a gay. Sucking your dick is no, gay. No, no. So unless, unless. You're getting off to grab the No! So you're your getting... question is literally, if you blow yourself and you like to taste the dick and you enjoy <laughs> blowing men, you're gay. Yep. Then yeah, I agree. If you want to blow it's your dick though. Because you took a concept no, no and dick, applied though. it to I don't but understand what you're saying. Zach, I love touching my own wiener. I do not want to touch because any you, other because man's you wiener. Can feel it, though. May, I may like sucking my own wiener if I could, but I can't. Because you like but I you promise you, I do not want to suck any other man's wiener. And it's not because I think hold I'm on, better than on, anybody. On, 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 All on. you're doing is justifying oh, like, like, the gay mindset. Like, if I want to blow a guy, I'm would gay. Would you 69 a guy if he blows your dick while you blow his? No. What's the difference? The difference huh? is it's not my dick. I see it's no different if you're going to do the same thing. You're, no, your initial argument is just nonsense. It doesn't make it's any sense. It's all mentality. If you're getting up to the idea of a dick, you're uh, <laughs> Zach, your argument is seriously uh, like this. Hey, uh, if a guy, if you really want to suck a dude's dick and you blew him and you enjoyed it, <laughs> I'm sorry. you're gay. I'm punched out. I'm punched out. It has nothing to do with me Again. blowing myself. You swallow your own cum gay. I shouldn't have brought it up. Vic. Yeah, you it's brought it up. You, Jeff. You're the one who opened up this Pandora's Mick. box of dick sucking. Mick. It's almost you over. You did this. No, it's almost over because Zach is totally fucking Mick. wrong. Mick. Is swollen your own jizz gay? Is coming your mouth gay? You should have been here last time. The, the, P, the neighbors are hearing us screaming. Mick! Corey was. Is jizzing your own mouth gay? No! <laughs> Why? Because I'm not. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a homosexual. in your mouth! I'm not a homosexual. That's the gayest like thing you, you just fucking cut in your throat! <laughs> That's the gayest thing you can do, period! Look. Full stop! There's cum, there's a dick coming in your fucking I'm mouth! A, the gayest back, thing I can do is be gay and fuck like 30 Zach, guys in a row! You, you spit in your mouth all the time! That's not- are you comparing cum- have, have, have you ever- have you ever- come, then. Have you ever eaten the crud out of your fingernails? No, I don't eat snot either. You never. No, absolutely, ever. <coughs> absolutely. You're you goddamn your lying son of a bitch. And you swallow it. It's impossible not you to swallow. You swallow it. Your You're, own snot. You know what? I respected you, but you know there's no yeah, way. Yeah, so I don't know, swallow my own cum and they'll call me so straight. I afterwards. didn't say. I'm straight. 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 I'm
It's you from a mirror universe, and where it's not your clone, <laughs> yeah, but it's you. It's you, you, but it's not you. <laughs> it's like this deeply philosophical shit going Therefore, on. Therefore, it's okay. No was that the justification for being okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, but, Chris, it wasn't... but then Chris said if you, if you, if your body split into two years, and you, that, that sucked your dick, and then you went back to one person, then it's not gay. So I was looking at it like, like a sci-fi. Well, well, yeah, so <laughs> if that was the case, then it's That's not gay, then that deep you again. I think that is gay. Yeah, Chris said it wasn't like, gay. You're both gay. You, you're not. Yeah. It's not Zach, a Zach, you are so wrong. It's like the weirdest porn. And you'll see that you why. You're gonna feel stupid. Our loyal Argument. followers are gonna write out nice little paragraphs as to why you're a no. fucking dumbass, no. dude. No. Your whole theory is no. so twisted. Yeah, but I'm consistent. Broken. What consistent? He is semi-consistent. He's not totally consistent Jeff, with Jeff your Lee bullshit. Same page. Jeff Lee the same theories. Page. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Sort of. See, yeah, semi, kind of, uh, sort of. You are yeah. obsessed with this stuff, though. You brought it up. I didn't bring it up. <laughs> I'm defending my points. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw the next. Yeah, here's exactly what happened. Sabrina. I don't know if you, Sabrina's like. Do you think Zach hates gay people? Really? She said that to you? A little bit, yeah. And what's your answer? I don't know. That was. I guess. Hold that was on, the hold on. We're here, we're all I guess here. That was the impression. Let's you ask about. Zach himself. <laughs> do you hate or gay no, people? I should, she, maybe she said. She said it in a nicer way, but she's like, "Do you think he?" There's no nice way to no, say it. No, let's, let's, let's be honest then. We're all here. I'm just what do saying, you think, Zach, Zach woke up one morning and he had an epiphany and a lot of questions about yeah. himself. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Uh, you look at the news and now, I thought, no. and now he's pinning it on you. Yeah, I'm going to say, yo. You lost on the shit argument, you lost on the Halloween, you're going to lose a third time. I did not been, lose on the Halloween <laughs> argument. I won that by a fucking landslide. Zach, it's fucking been no 25 way. seconds since Halloween you is a superior holiday and you need to fucking acknowledge that. It. It's you not still a fucking lie. Answer. Facts. Facts. Samper's right, by the way. You still haven't answered. Of course I hate gay people. I don't give a fuck. I'll watch it, you fucking little dude. I'll get up to it. I'll get horny. I'll come on, dude. I'll fuck him in the ass. But it's not gay. And I like, <laughs> and I like gay guys in community, too. And I like gay guys in community. I'm, I'm oh, simply, you let them. I'm simply all allowed those faggots to fuck each other. But my point is, is the act gay? Because everyone has a different answer. What? You didn't answer the question. Do you what? hate gay what people you, or no. not? What do you I don't get give a fuck from... if someone's gay or straight. Okay, good. I'm simply debating you, whether the act is gay or not. You can put your wiener back in your pants. Because everybody has a different answer. Dude, right. you can't debate whether the act is gay or not. Because you can you're... literally do that because it's... Uh, something that's gay is something of the same. Gay place. and straight isn't a switch that you got. Not like, the turn people, off the act. On. An act can. I don't understand what you're getting at. I agree with that. A bisexual can do something gay or straight. I could have a better straight. fucking intro to this podcast. <laughs> Fuck you, Zach. Your whole <laughs> line of questioning, all this is. I'm all, making complete sense. An act, something you do. Does not make you gay or straight. Yeah, you're standing in a corner cowering because your initial fucking argument no. was wrong. If you listen to both these podcasts, my argument's been the exact same. You guys have been flip flopping. I my argument's been. I've been uh, flip flopping. <laughs> I've been so consistent. The only you do it is gay. Dancing. Your argument oh, hasn't made any sense from fucking Jump Street, man. My argument is consistent. Why, 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 why is it? Why is it sixty nine? Can another guy turn gay? Turn that part up when you. I said wanted that. this to be. If like I was gay, then it would be gay. But you're getting your dick sucked. Not an hour. Yeah, because I'd be it. gay if I was doing that. No, what if a dude, what guys. if a blue dude only blew you? Is that gay? Guys. Change the subject, Zach. Yeah, guys, you guys, lost. Look, we can we can debate all day. The truth is, until you all suck your the own dick. The truth dicks, is, Zach needs to get out of the fucking closet. The truth is, and, simple. And talk to dude in the ass and say it's right. not gay. So you either gotta suck your own dicks or fuck each other until we find the answer. That's next, the root problem. Next topic. That's you mean now. I am completely <laughs> fine with sexuality. You guys are projecting. No, you're not. I am no, so not. fine. No, you're not. So fucking fine. You're mad because not everyone has your your fucking weird view. <laughs> of what? No, exactly. you're mad yeah, because what? you don't have my weird view and you're confused. So you call the weird sexual view. I am totally fine with your view and totally fine with my view. You think I'm weird because I don't like buttholes. I'm not fine. I'm, I'm not something. fine with your view. I'm fine with my view. I'm not exactly, fine with your view. Exactly, because you think I'm like something. Bitch. You think you're <laughs> extreme. Look. Look, homophobe and piss drinker. Let's just Jeff, wrap you this said up. You hate yeah, that's guys. right. We have both of them. Listen, man. What? I'm gonna get that enough from everybody else. I don't need it from my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it slide this time. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. No, it's okay. I'm sorry, man. I like I listened like eight, 90 minutes of Corey screaming about this on the other podcast. All right, all right. So listen, let's it's just... obviously a hot topic. All right, <sighs> so let's just agree that Zach is wrong and move on to the next topic. All right, Listen, Jeff, where'd you get your hat? Again. Jeff, where'd you get your hat? Where'd you hat. buy your hat? Dot com. What happened to everything in here? He got drunk by the drunk. 
Mick. I stopped. I stopped drinking it. Corey, or not Corey. Shit. Wow. Oh, you, who are you going to call Corey? Yeah. Me. I was going to call uh, Welcome to Corey Town, uh, How much longer do you think we have until World War III, Zach? Because yeah. we're obsessed with, with uh, obsessed. geopolitical politics. I'm interested. I'm obsessed. I'm do I don't know. Did you hear about the thing? I, sorry, I don't want to make this all newsy and Do you think it's going to break out because the, the Jews and the Germans are, were blowing each other? I think I think Vladimir Putin's going to be like, it's sucking little dick gay, like half the people are going to go, yes! And no, they're going to start killing each other. It's going to be chaos. Why not? They'd fucking start wars over dumber shit. That's true. When When is World War Three? Just give us a date. Tomorrow. No, give us a real date. I don't know. I don't, I don't, that could be hard. real. Fuck it. That is true. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Surprise! Yes. Yeah. Whoop! You what? want a real answer if you want, you want to continue with the podcast? I don't know. None of you guys care. Why is your couch so big? I didn't buy his couch. This is Mike's couch. It's huge. You look like a little kid sitting on it because your like, legs don't even touch the ground. You know what's weird about that couch, like though? Is mind. that it leans so far backwards? Yeah. It looks like you could just, if you wanted to, you could just hide yourself in it like a burrito. Is this for me? Yeah, have oh, a stamp. Oh, Stanford. You were going to say something about news. Oh, no, I was going to say, I heard that uh, there were some English fighter jets that ushered yeah. off some Russian bomber. I want, there's a video of that. You can just cut this out. But there's a video of that, of this fucking the Russian, like the biggest Russian bomber they have. And there's like 10 NATO jets around it. And one of the fucking, some guy, the guy who's recording is inside the Russian cockpit. One of the fucking NATO jets like shows its belly and shows its fucking missiles. It's like it does this and just shows its missiles and goes back down. It was the coolest fucking thing ever. It's the biggest fuck you as a that I got. Wow. Funny. Yeah, I know. What about that news story where they said the, the U.S. government ran a study and thought they... Yeah, they said Putin was had Asperger's. I, I, was, I, was, I laughed so fucking hard at that. That is like, that is a YouTube comment. It's like, yeah, Putin has fucking autism. <laughs> What's next? Putin's gonna be like, yeah, your avatar is gay, you have a fucking brony avatar, you fag in America, whatever. You told me to cut this. I, I There's no way I'm cutting that. You think, he's, you think he's over there, like, getting people to translate Chris Chan videos? Yeah. <laughs> no, I swear to God, geopolitics involves more and more than, like, the YouTube comment system. Fucking North Korea put an official press release, like, a year ago, and they called Obama a fucking monkey. Yeah. That was, like, official. That was, like, the, by the fucking these diplomats in suits, like... Oh, Bob was a that's monkey. Where, that's where I got it from. Because it was so bizarre and like out of left field. It's so field. fucking weird, dude. For somebody with that am amount of power to say something so... These are so guys in suits like, who go to meetings every day and have coffee. And I know. This is like, they're no more fucking advanced than school children just going around saying the dumbest fucking shit. I know. Shit. Except they got fucking nukes. Yeah. Yeah. That is the question. Dumb that's, school that's, kids that's what, with that's nukes. That's why I think this could be a big war. Here's a question for yeah. all of you guys. Yeah, okay. You know, with the whole advent of Total Recall and all that, mm. um, would you take up the opportunity to go to Mars and never return? No. I wouldn't. I know Zach I, would. No, I think I think that's a really romantic idea, but after about a week there, it's like going on vacation, right? It's like you go to Hawaii. After like a week of Hawaii, you're ready to go back. Now, I think Mars would be even that tenfold. Well, well it's wait, not a vacation. Now, what would you miss? No, no, but that's, that's what I mean, though. So you could, Hawaii's fucking amazing, but if you go to Hawaii for a week, you're like, I want to go home. Mars would be that times a million. You'd be there for like three days and be like, I fucked up, dude. Yo, that's actually a cartoon series I wanted to make, which was about a colony that goes from Earth to Mars, and it's like the 30 people that are all trapped together, and like, they all fucking hate each other, because like, they're just random ass I, people I think, that fucking think, signed up for this shit. I think it's like, it's like, it's like romantic, and it's like, I'm gonna die at Mars. It's like, yeah, you're gonna go it's and it's fucking blow your brains out. It's consistently romantic, though. You go there, and those are... You're on a brand new you're, planet? You're, you, you'll be immortalized for the human species however long we live. But still, you wasn't it like like what would you miss from Earth? You're living in a rocky desert. People, yeah, the entire planet, and you're, and you're living in like a fucking smoke. like here's an example tube like, compound. The president of the United States, yeah. the, every president of the last like, whatever many years, always complains that they can't have privacy. Obama like pisses off the Secret Service because he goes out on walks because he can't be alone. That's the president, dude. He's a president. He's the highest. He's the most powerful guy on Earth. The most powerful guy on Earth. That's, that's, that's as romantic as it gets. And you can't just go up for a fucking smoke or whatever. So on Mars, would be like, yeah, you're on Mars, but you can't just go up for a fucking cup of coffee or whatever. What's the biggest... Sure what you can. Be, what what can be the you? biggest downside? Like, the fact you can't go outside without a fucking helmet on? Fact, or... I think the biggest downside is you're on Mars, dude. Nobody's fucking there. I really don't see what the problem is. What if you didn't There's like not, dude, the I love people? Space. I love space. I love Mars, but... I there think... wouldn't be a lot to do besides work. It depends on your That's all we do here. It depends what's here. Yeah, you go for a breath of air, though, if you need it. You wouldn't... You go for the blinds and see Your food would be very limited. Yeah. 
You can't get a red lobster or whatever. The yeah, sky you, never fucking changes. Right, but you never get cool. to change who you hang out with, too. Like, well, yeah, you're, you're fucking up. trapped in this fucking tubular... What the hell are like, you talking about? I don't change who I hang out with now. I meet psychos all yeah, the Yeah, that's right, but you got to choose who you got to hang out at this point. It's just people signing up to go to fucking Mars. Most of those people are fucking either homicidal or they're fucking just the weirdest, awkwardest people who are so distanced from Earth to begin with that they'd rather live on a different fucking planet than being with all of us. You like think they would put those assholes on a ship? I a absolutely, because those are the only people that would spend the rest of their lives on a planet off of Earth. You're talking about colonizing another planet. They wouldn't do that. How many mentally healthy with like good relationships and all that kind of shit would be like, yeah, I'm totally good to leave everything off of Earth and just move to fucking Mars with like 300 strangers. To leave Earth and advance, advance mankind? I would say thousands. It, no, no. Seriously, dude. No, dude. It, no, no. You have no faith in mankind. This is another argument you're gonna fucking lose. Well, no, 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 you're, saying, you're saying it's a thousands of people to Mars immediately? So thousands of people would want to go to Mars. No, there are they thousands of people that want to go, yes. So, no, so Thousands of good people would want to they go. They want to go. Hold on, they want to go, but that's not the same as being able to go. The actual amount of people that be able to go over. I mean, you're, we're talking like twenty <laughs> people, thirty people a year. If you if you look how much you're talking technical stuff. Sure, no, technical, I'm not going to yeah, disagree no, with that. No, no, no. But what Stamper's saying is what I disagree with, which is I, that I agree with Stamper, but I disagree. <laughs> It would take, honestly, a century to get, like, a good couple of dozen thousand people there. I think that, right, so let's just and say, well, hold on, hold on, yeah, let's absolutely. just say everyone could go to Mars. Let's just say there was an open pass. There's a button you could press. Anyone can go. I think you're going to get a hell of a lot more fucking weirdos no, going to fucking Mars that. than straight up fucking good Look, people. That's not my argument. I'm saying there's thousands of good people that could go to Mars and colonize and it yes. be a perfectly habitable place. I, I don't disagree with that, but I think that there are so many weird ass fucking people who I, are distanced I think the psychos, from I think the psychos this are, world and this life that they are not necessarily the people that I want to be. It's not a bus. They can't just board it. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're not just going to let anybody. They're going to test you it's mentally it's for months. They're not going to let some psycho wants to cut up his family up on the... Like you, for example. You're not going. <laughs> <laughs> you're never going. <laughs> That's because by the time we showed up, there'd be no more booze when we got to Mars and they'd be all fucking pissed they off. You, they yeah. Just, they you. I'd like, be the, sitting there sucking my own dick and they'd be like fuck this the asshole. first colonists for the first couple of years they're gonna be stuck in these tiny little yeah. pods yeah. that's right oh, eating really... like plants let me tell you this they might be able to read books maybe. I'd go to Mars because <laughs> I'm, I'm they on forgot a... how to read on their way to Mars no 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 I'm saying they, they get it, they're, at most for entertainment they'll be able to download baby, oh alright like, okay. data wise they can realize... probably send them books the internet but not too. movies, probably. I think they download like the, the entire inter internet before they show it well, up. The they'd have they'd have billions of hours of fucking bullshit and cats too, playing pianos, reading Wikipedia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, in Wikipedia they articles. They have on the on Mars. They wouldn't have internet. Yeah. You'd, you'd have nothing to do. You kill yourself. Yeah. Well, so here's my options: I colonize another planet, or I'd sit and debate about they, debate about sucking your own dick <laughs> <laughs> with Zach. <laughs> Hmm. Imagine, them, imagine them to move into the middle of this fucking Sahara Desert, and you'd you'd never see another HD video in the rest of your life. You'd have shitty food, coffee you know, I, if you're I, I lucky. Think, like I, said, I, I think eat like that. garbage anyways. Who cares? I love stop, how you're the, stop making stop saying it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. I love how you're in the middle you of the Sahara and you might have Earth. coffee. I like how that's an option though. Like maybe, maybe, I maybe mean, you think, have coffee. Think about how people react. Maybe get another shipment in three in years of like <laughs> of pure coffee. <laughs> We'll what do you call the person when they throw you in the cell in the in the institutionalized? No, no, they throw you like in a little fucking tight little like solitary confinement. Yeah, humans crack on your solitary confinement and get fucked up. Imagine that, but for the rest of your life, pretty much. They're not sending you to prison. They're sending you to Mars. No, but like this, yeah, but you're that, the house we're in would probably be smaller than like or bigger than the. Pod, you, like you guys sit in your apartments all day and anime, and this but is going to be a fucking problem? It's, it's about the ability. You can't. You have the ability to walk us out whatever you want. Here's a question. You can't how, just do that. How long would each of you think you'd be able to last living in like a solitary environment just by yourself, like never seeing another person? I actually have more faith than I How I long think. could you last comfortably? I think I would do well. I, you know what? I think And you can't I, go to Mars. I could live the rest of my Deep life. Up. Yo, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Talking to another absolutely. Person. I, think <laughs> as, <laughs> I think as animators... Like we've conditioned ourselves oh, wait, wait, to be wait, wait. isolated, and I do think that like we could be in an isolated oh, space I for years. I absolutely way back yeah. to Jeff. and we would not go crazy. So 
With what resources or lack of resources? You mean just by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, just, just naked. Alone. I guess, like, buck naked. Imagine if you're like Will Smith in the fucking butt movie, naked. uh, what is it? Don't buck say, don't say after naked. But Not after Earth, naked. the other one. Just the, the, let's say you, you have all the video games and movies and everything you ever want to use. Oh, you have you like resources. Not see another human being ever again. Oh, I could do that forever. That'd be fun, yeah. Okay. If I you were think, just locked in a room, like fucking. I think, you wouldn't I even think be locked in a room. You, you, you could you, do you anything, have, but you just wouldn't be able to I see think, another person. I think anybody says they would have a mental breakdown. Like oh, themselves. you mean just like devoid of human contact? Yeah, like no other person to communicate with. I, I feel like that's like your dream world, to be honest. I don't even think that's a sentence. Oh, I'd love it. I think you'd, yeah, I think you'd be like, <laughs> where the fuck is this place? I'm down. I'd say that I can handle that for a really long time, but yeah. after a couple of years, don't talk to me again because something <laughs> really fucking weird is gonna happen. <laughs> you're gonna like be. You're gonna get so like after seven years. I get so horny though. Season, I'd feel like I'd be like jacking. I'd be sucking my dick it. all the fucking time you, at that you, point. You, you, yeah, but is it gay? I'd be the gayest motherfucker in my own world because I'd be the only <laughs> human left, and I. That's all I'd be doing is sucking my own dick yeah, all exactly. day long. Yeah, all day. If, if, if Zach, if you were the last human on Earth. Yeah. Would you Somebody would you grow a little yeah. like you you could grow a little Hitler mustache and drive around <laughs> screaming like <laughs> screaming? <laughs> I can't grow a Hitler mustache. I I like right, Brutus and Bully, like I'm missing that. I'm you can draw Hitler's. one and yeah, nobody well, would criticize you. You could shave it off some oh, dead body and then yeah. super glue it to your face. I'm sick of this little fucking meme. Stop with Hitler. It's real funny when I get thirty messages on Twitter. Hey, look. Hey Hitler, Julius Hitler, you're a real goddamn funny. You started it! I haven't <laughs> You started it! Listen to the podcast. I mentioned this is like episode six. I don't think it's funny anymore. You so kicked stop. it off in episode <laughs> one! You did! I did Listen to it back! I'm not I don't like it anymore! You kicked it's a Hitler meme now. for a reason! It's a meme now! Alright. I agree, it is. Yeah, the end. Sorry, you and Corey, you're your memes. What are some memes for us, Zach? You like Max? He drinks his own piss and you're Asian. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm never gonna hear the end of that one. I'm Steve Jobs. I just remember how you told me that story. That you were in your office, you were working very hard, and our our pipes still weren't working, and I was like, yeah, we're talking about heat. And I was just about to turn around, you're like, hey, you know, not that it really matters, but I just want to let you know, you see that bottle over there? And I was like, yeah, of course. And this the whole story unfolded, and I was like... Yeah, I was debating whether... Because I think I'm losing... I felt like you needed... You know what it was? It felt like a cry for help in terms of, like, I was working so hard last night that I got so trashed while I was, like, working on shit. No, it's because... I, I just feel like we get so far in life, and then we start losing our minds kind of on an individual basis. Yeah. And we don't know what's acceptable to oh, tell it's people true. anymore. Oh, well, it's you, true. You're the level I was when I waved my shit in front of your face. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you were slinging your dirty of... undies up in the air like a fucking decapitated yeah, you, you, head. You, you, you and Nick will come down to our level someday. That it's image just... is burning into my mind. I'm trying not to. I just For heard some about reason, it. I feel that's worse than drinking no, my own drinking piss. No, drinking your piss is way worse. Did you ever tell that story? <laughs> yeah, I told it on episode 13. Oh, yeah. No, nah, that's still worse. I unfortunately got to see, yeah, I got to see a cup full of Zach's shit. That was an accident, dude. Oh, shit. So, wait, you shit in a cup? No, the doctor, I went to the doctor, and he's like, can you shit in this cup? And I was like, oh, the doctor, I shit in the cup. And he's like, why'd you shit in this cup? You fucking, I was joking, dude. You fucking <laughs> did it, you fag. And he walked out. How do you shit on command? No, Every not. time I go to the hospital and they tell me to piss or shit in a cup, I can't do it. I diarrhea. I went to the bathroom and they put it over the toilet. Room. I guess <sighs> you're going to be a nurse. I guess you just got to, you got to get used to shoveling up. No, no, shit. I mean, how do you do it? It as a oh. the, as, it as the giver, like say, hey, can you go piss in this cup? And it's like I don't maybe in like three hours. I was gonna hours. bring that up. Yeah, like some t every, the few times I've had to do that, a I either couldn't piss and it was, I had to sit around for an hour awkwardly apologizing because I couldn't piss, or or they gave me the cup when I over. You ever overfill the cup? Yeah. You like it one time? Like, oh, <laughs> like dude, this, I'm this telling cup you. And it's like to the top of the brim with piss. You I had a one liter fucking bottle and I filled it up. It you was have, fucking. You had it when you're pissing in the cup. Do you feel like you can't stop yourself? You're like, oh, I need to stop. You like you already kind of. You know what I mean? It's hard to stop being the, pissed. The first time I did it, I filled it all in. Like, I literally, they literally only need like three drops. And you I know, fill I stared it. at you. Yeah, next, stand next to me, piss. Try to stop being pissed if you, have, if you have a big piss. Like, you know what they need to do? They need to put sensors in the fucking toilets in the bathrooms that you stay in. So you go and piss in the toilet and they just test it through the toilet water that you piss in. The end. That is genius. 
that's going to be a future. You want a stool oh, sample? That would, that would be an $87,000 uh, toilet. No, they like, get paid enough. I guarantee you it'll be in every hallway like yeah, 100 maybe. years. You'll have a big like diary and be like, you have cancer. Good day. <laughs> Zach. What it, what is what is a piece of technology? Good day. What is be a piece well. Of, <laughs> be well. Besides the cancer, L O L O L. What is something in the future that you know after we're all dead and some there'd be some piece of technology? What would something in the future you'd want now that uh, you know you'll never be able to have, but uh, they'll have in the future probably. Uh, but you gotta try. Give me that little great that. great grandson, nah, uh, Zach. He's Zach. Zach. He's all right. He's all right. He's, 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 he's good. You're still going. No, I want to know. T-bones, if he fucking T-bones a card, is Answer the fucking question. Jesus. Sorry, Jeff. Just for audio sake. No, it's that. all right. What wonderful piece of futuristic technology that might exist 100 years from now would you want now or even farther in the future? What's something you know, you know you'll know, you never have, but be it'll conven- exist one day? It'd be a convenience to your everyday you life that doesn't exist. Cancer machine. I just said that. You can't steal one. Cancer so scan. I, I would choose that, though. I would choose... You wouldn't choose a cancer scan? Most problems are solved with common sense. Like, it'd be nice... That's to right. Have... When I had cancer, no, you know then all I need is some good common no. sense. No, like, boom. Like, like, if, if it, there's a machine you can put your finger in, and it's like, oh, you stop eating sugar and stop yeah, smoking yeah, yeah. cigarettes. You're saying the cure to... Right. Before I, you get I, to I'm that curious. point. Yeah, why don't you fucking stop doing stupid <laughs> shit? I, really, I, I would love to see the future just for this part. I know this is going to happen eventually, but AI is going to get so good at one point at some point in the future, be able to program something that can tell the funniest joke, like like compile every single the best joke of all time, and then a robot that you can tell the funniest joke. Do you feel threatened? No, I, people would feel threatened. Cause what the fuck would happen if like robots can like program pinpoint the funniest fucking joke of all time? We nobody, can nobody can be like you. Nobody can be like me. Nobody can it be like matter. him. And you, but yes, they, it does they, matter. They can take every amazing best joke and think of all these things. Laugh. That's not an individual. That's like an amalgamation of fucking but, but everybody. Imagine if, like, imagine if a scientist programs that and it sells the jokes to comedians. Or it is not possible to manufacture a personality. It's not. Wait. Uh, hold on. But Jeff, I, wanted, say, I, say, I, I have something to say about that. But Jeff, something real fast. What do you want to tell them? Why did the chicken cross the road? I have no particular insight into the motivations of chickens. I have no particular insight into the motivations of chickens, Jeff. All right, never mind. No, no, but I don't. No, that's a perfect example, actually. Jeff, I don't even mean like. I don't even mean like artificial intelligence responding, like Mm -hmm. being witty. I mean like it's completely unintelligent. But they take it. They basically make an algorithm. They put every single the most funny jokes of all time Mm -hmm. in this computer program, and then from there figure out the funniest jokes. That's not. That's not possible. I I would say it absolutely is given hundred years. But hold on, you when you see what is quote unquote popular in terms of comedy, I, right? You immediately. I would say there are some objective, like basic, like timing. Sure, but there Jeff. are. Now I'm just saying, of all the things like flying cars, teleportation. I, I, I think flying cars. You want an practical. AI that can tell funny jokes? No, he well, doesn't I just, want I'm it. Curious to see that because I can't. Because I think every every asshole this dog is gonna say flying cars and cancer, you know, robots and I've just thought about the part. Sex been to robots. Say that. I think sexual. I don't think flying cars are ever gonna become practical in jetpacks. They're so weird and stupid. You know, I want, I want that, like in total, in both Total Recall movies, you can uh, dress up as another person. Ew, you watched the second one? Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Isn't that with Colin Farrell or whatever? I'll watch anything. Yeah. It was just kind of bland, honestly. Wasn't it the same movie, just remade? It, it was different. They they apparently went, they, they apparently tried to stick more P. to the book. Totally, buddy. Oh. But it, it, it just didn't have that much personality. It was really kind of. You dull. always do it every time someone leaves. The, the, uh, the I promise I won't. Like like that movie, like many movies, the, the art direction bitch. was nice. But uh, <laughs> wait, why did Zach leave? Did he have Did he have leaky butt again? He has to go blow himself he upstairs. Blow. To, he has to go convince him. I like Zach a lot. I just wish he didn't know. have such a pooping problem. Mick, are you all right? <laughs> Dude, you don't even know. Do you have any final words? Actually, I said a good point. What was the last fucking thing that was said? Never you mind. were saying that um, Mortal Kombat 2 wasn't as good as 1? Wait, 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 no. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 was way better than 1. I loved oh, Mortal Kombat. God. Wait, what? No, Mortal Kombat 1 was the best. No, no 2 was way better than 1 and 3 was and it's How was exactly Mortal Kombat right. No, the movie, not the game. Oh, why are we talking about the fucking movies? Idiot. Well, obviously the first movie's good. Nobody liked fucking Annihilation. Yeah, the second movie was terrible. That's what I was saying. Why did you say the movie? Why did you go to the movies first? Because I thought... That's like saying Street Fighter was... 
back. Because we were talking like, about movies more than we were talking about you, video games. You dumb chink. You know what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> chit I wanted. I remember back. hearing your podcast where you're talking about going to Korea. Yeah. And how they had those like toilets where you had to squat. Yeah. And how it was such a fucking burden on you. I never did it. Okay. I just saw them. There was a piss trough that did make me uncomfortable in this one bathroom. It was like a round trough. Yeah. And they all stood around it. But but anytime a little kid came in, he would like get completely naked and stand there. Because horny and, just and I, I like to get and naked. I was getting so horny by it. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> and you get a huge boner I while you're peeing. So horny. And you pee you like just horny. everywhere. You filmed it. I pitched such a big tent, I couldn't like undo my pants. I had to run out crying and I was all embarrassed. Here's a question Can you guys piss when another dude is standing next to you at a urinal? No. I cannot. Not if they're taller than me. If I'm drunk, I can. <laughs> if I'm like super it. drunk and I really gotta pee, it doesn't matter who's next to me. But if they're taller than me and I know they can see my wiener, Vic, if they wanted to. It has to, nothing to do with seeing, seeing the wiener. No, for me, it I've does. Even been, if they I, like what they saw, Vic, it still weirds me out. Are you a, a motor when you're drunk when you piss? You're, are, you, are, you the, oh, are you that guy who leads your head back and bones? I've done drunk? it a couple of times. I don't do it oh, all the time. Like, oh. I don't it's do, the no, dudes don't that are that, in the stalls. Like when you're pissing at a urinal and the dude's in the stall and they're shitting and they're like, oh. Yeah, that's I weird. Was, uh, I was in a restaurant a couple of days ago and I, had, I saw a dude bone you go pee. was going, oh. I fucking got it real fast. <laughs> He just ran out. <laughs> He's gonna put it in there, dude. No, but the worst toilet experience I had in China was when we tried to go horseback riding by the Great Wall, and the only place they were doing the horseback riding was by this farm. But essentially, the bathroom that they had was just this shed. So they were like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. And they're like, yeah, hey, yeah, it's right over there. It wasn't an outhouse. It was like this small shed <laughs> with a big ditch, almost like if you were to look at the end of a pool. Like, you're looking into and a And it goes pool. to the shallow end. I swear to God, absolutely at my grandfather's grave, I saw a horse's head. I saw half of a fucking cart, like, a with the A wheels. decapitated horse's head. I don't know I'm if it was hurl. just... I don't know if it was just the head or the whole horse was in there. I couldn't tell. It was just this pit of things. And it included a whole lot of shit and piss. But it had a horse's head, and it had a whole bunch of like <laughs> weird things sticking out of it. And maybe if anyone's traveled to China who's listening to the podcast, who's ever fucking been to China to like a farming community, would be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. Yeah, of course. The piss yeah, of course. But all I remember was I was trying to take fucking piss, and all of a sudden I saw like a horse's head in there. I mean, it was big. I would saw a child. You would have tried to piss in the horse's mouth. You know what I mean? No, right. Because you're gay if you put your wiener in the <laughs> his horse's mouth. mouth. Only if you think of a guy. Fucking up the ass and coming. That would be weird. Jeff, question. Yeah. Do you subscribe yeah. to the belief that Jesus was in fact a gray alien? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It's fucking mouth though. I'll be honest. I, I didn't see cross. that coming. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Jeff, it looks. It's a gray alien. It's for God, but it has a wig on. It's a fucking conspiracy. It's little mouth is open. It's moaning. I've seen pictures of it. It's terrifying. It's really, it's really on like a GeoCities <laughs> website somewhere. <laughs> With like some crazy <laughs> gift background. Geocities.com <laughs> slash Can we talk about, Tokyo yeah, can we talk about slash conspiracy theories? They always, they always found this one piece of information on some Geocities webpage and then all of a sudden that just makes it true. Because... Somebody lead me to a thing today called the globalism.com and I was like, what the fuck is this? I, I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast, but I think it's really funny when the conspiracy theorists get conspiracies made about them and they get furious. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like Alex Jones has a conspiracy that he's actually Bill Hicks, who lived on, and he gets furious when you say that. There's also conspiracies that Alex Jones is like a CIA agent. Who the fuck is Alex Jones? He's a big fat guy from Texas. With a it talks like that. Uh, uh, folks, uh, this is not a joke. Uh, uh, there's globalists. There's, there's a lot of big fat guys He's like guys 37, but looks 55. Yeah, also yeah. Jesse Ventura is one too. He's a huge one. Jesse Ventura. Oh, you know who Jesse Ventura is. Mm -hmm. I remember well, him when he was an actor. He's yeah. the most boring people that are Bunch of slack jobs, so faggots around here. This now they need he to... talks like this now. 9 11 didn't happen the way you thought it did, folks. It's all an inside job. Alex, <laughs> Alex, could you please talk about you this? You make a bit? better Jesse Ventura than he does. I listen to him, dude. I love him. He's hilarious. It's the folks. Our folks, folks, we have big problems in the U.S. government today. He's way better than you me. wouldn't believe it. Yeah, that right? That's good. Doing. Why isn't anyone taking me seriously? I was a wrestler first and a governor second. And then so I was like, in commando. Nobody believes me when I say I saw a gray alien run headfirst into the <laughs> World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're, like a, you're like when 
if, if Zack and Jesse Ventura were Dragon Ball Z characters, they merge <laughs> together, that's what he would sound like. Jeff. Yeah. If ISIS kidnapped you, Jeff, or, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? If ISIS captured you, fucking knocked your head off, was a nice hat bagging. Yeah. Listen to me, bitch. Yeah. Make a slap, we'll kill you. I'd, maybe I'd start doing that, like, like, I'm Doc Brown. <laughs> Go back to the future. Like, I like, I like oh, wow, you win. Like, like, oh, like, you survived. I like, oh, back to the future. I like, you, you, you definitely like survived. Back to the future over there. They'd be psyched. They probably just. There'd got be one it. dude. He's like, I like that. They all look at him. He's like, I like that. You know who I'm worried about is Corey. The movie over there is probably called like like <laughs> Libyan Terrace to the Future, and like they're That's Libyan right. to the van are the star of the movie. And oh, like, right. Marty only like five the minutes long. That's right. They had their own whole version of that movie. They re-edited. To make a living, they they they, <laughs> they chase the him, they shoot him, and the movie's over. Yeah. It's, just, <laughs> oh, it's a short film because they film. have the scene where Michael J. Fox is all yeah. sad over yeah. Doc Brown's yeah. death. Yeah. They just end the movie right there. They're like, movie's over, <laughs> we won. Speaking of third trimester abortion, we're going to abort this and it's third uh, after what I've too long. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and let me, su- and let me summarize by saying that Zach was wrong on every argument that he made in this entire fucking thing. If you guys want to embarrass Stamper, feel again, feel free. You know, uh, oh. You, oh, you know what? Oh. You know what? If you want to embarrass Stamper, leave your honest opinions below. Jeff, give us some last words. Yeah, like, Jeff. If you'd like to embarrass these guys, send a dollar to their Patreon. Oh, wow. Oh, sleepy Kevin. Hey, if you want to tell Jeff to go fuck himself, then go <laughs> tell him to go fuck himself. Second question is, go to at Johnny <laughs> underscore, wait, Johnny Utah underscore NG and send the hottest off the press memes. I'm talking bad luck, Brian. I'm talking awkward penguin. You know what I mean, folks. Go, go, go. Get bad luck, dolphin. dolphin. Upset television. <laughs> green walls. Staircase. Draw your own picture of How about we make, make a How about we make a new meme called Bad Decision Stamper? How Stamper makes you keep, keep making bad decisions. Here's, here's one. Stamper! He's gay and drinks so piss. End that podcast! How about Closet Homo Zach? <laughs> What's, 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 a, what's a meme for Closet Homo Zach? He's like. He's gay, doesn't tell anybody. I don't know. Yeah. Meme's gay, dude. Secret Zach. <laughs> Secret A. Secret Zach. Secret. That's it. Secret Zack. Hashtag Secret Zack. Alright, alright. <laughs>